This is Ken here with MrTruck.com. And for this video series, I'm partnering with TransWest Truck Trailer RV north of Denver. And what we're trying to do is cover trailering tips. We know how dangerous trailers can be or how intimidating they can be. So we want to give you some advice, some tips, some special uh, features that may make it easier for you to get used to it and do all the fun stuff. It's Ken with MrTruck.com and CJ with TransWest Truck Trailer RV north of Denver off of 52. Today I want to talk about Centromatic Wheel Balancers. That's these puppies. Now, if you ever heard them, they, they're big in the semi industry because they'll give you 25, well, they can give you 25 to more percent longer life out of your trailer tires or your truck tires or your semi tires. You think about a semi with 18 wheels, it's thousands of dollars that you can save. So they're really big. If you go into a, a gas station sometime or a truck stop, look at the front wheels on a semi and look through the holes, and you'll see one of these puppies in there. It's very, very common. And they're relatively cheap, and they got like a five year warranty on them, but they balance the tires as you drive. It's called Centromatic Force, kind of like uh, us and the moon. And well, you've been on one of those rides where it goes around and around and sucks you in the back wall. That's how Centromatics work. And I got a device that'll show you exactly how that works. But that's what it does, they go into orbit. So what these things will do, they will actually balance your tires, your wheels, your brakes, everything in that circle gets balanced. So everything goes round and round, and you'll see how these BBs work. This is stainless steel BBs in here, and they're in synthetic fluid. So they're good to 50 below zero. But this one's on the front of like an M2, like a summit hauler truck or a big semi. Then they make all different sizes for the front deep dish. And what CJ has goes between the duels. That's off of a semi, like a 22.5 or 24.5. And of course, they make it for 110s, 3500s, all you know different sizes. They even make them for H2 Hummers or H1 Hummers. It's incredible what they do for an H1 Hummer. Because they don't, I mean, people, what cracks me up is I have them on all my trader tires. And now, CJ, they can probably buy these from your parts department. Yeah, that number is, we're here at the Frederick store, and that phone number is 303-684-3400. Well, that's cool. And all your all the summit haulers here, they come with these Centromatics. It's how much TransWest believes in these. But the I'm going to show you what the BBs look like. But getting longer life out of your tire, getting a tire that stays round all the time. Now I tell people too, might say instructions to take your lead weights off. I say leave them on. They'll come off by themselves anyway. But when you get new tires, always make sure you can still have them balanced because a new tire could be out of round, you could have a bent rim, all these things happen. Yeah. So you want to do all that. But having everything balanced is so important. And then you look at trailers. I mean, a lot of these tire places I go to, they say, oh, you don't need to balance a trailer tire, you know? <laughs> They're full of baloney. If it's round, it needs balanced. And that makes your tires last longer, takes a lot of vibration out of it. I used to drive you know, manual transmissions back when I used to have manual transmissions. And you could put your hand on the stick, and these call them handshakers in the semi industry, and you could feel the difference in the vibration. It just kind of went away when you put the centromatic balancers on it. But there's nothing to it. You just take the wheel off, throw these on, put the wheel back on. It's fantastic. So call the Transwest Parts Department. And I'm going to do a little more demonstrating here, but I bugged CJ too much today. It's time for him to go away. Go away, CJ. <laughs> time to go to work. Yeah. Well, I appreciate it. You Thanks bet. for helping. Sure thing. You know everything about everything, so that's why I come here and talk to you, and <laughs> we spread the wealth of knowledge. Don't go away, Mr. Chuck.TV. We'll be right back. Okay, now what I'm going to show you here is this is a strobe light. It does all these weird lights. Inside here is ball bearings. They're not the same size as in a Centromatic, but it's just a demonstration. And we've got them in there, they're in synthetic fluid, and this shows you how the Centromatic force runs all these balls to a different place. So they're getting pushed to the outside, and then wherever they feel the vibration, they'll, they'll slide around and find that spot. And that's how they balance everything in the circle, the brakes, the tires, the wheels. And I'll put a magnet on this side to show you what an unbalanced tire is like. And then these balls will go around and they'll counterbalance that magnet. Here we go, rolly, rolly, rolly. You can see where the balls were, I hope. 
Yeah, you can, see, you can see them over there. And so that's what they're doing. They're running around the circle. You can see the little light. And that's how that works. Just the little lights. That's where those balls are. Those are balls. That's just the reflection of the actual stainless steel ball. See, there's that magnet just making it bounce all over, showing you what an unbalanced tire does. Now you're going to see it, how it wobbles so much because it's got the magnet on one side, which is unbalancing a tire. And then I turn on the strobe light and get up to speed. And now I see how balanced and level that is. Hopefully you can see some of those ball bearings in there. The strobe light. Whoa, whoa. Before I kill myself. I'm a professional. Don't do this at home. There it's bouncing, bouncing all over the place because of that magnet. You got offset weight. Let me try it one more time. Starting up, see it's going to be bouncing all over. See it bouncing. And then got to get up to speed. See if I can. You can just barely see those little pieces of light. That's those balls, ball bearings. They're spread out pretty much in a circle. There's a few more on the opposite side of that magnet. That's how they work. So they go where they need to go to be a centrifugal circle, perfect circle. Now this is a, a jar of these. <laughs> this is a jar. I don't know if you can see them close enough, but that's what it is. That's what the BBs look like. It's inside there, inside each centromatic balancer. That's what they look like. Stainless steel BBs in synthetic fluid. That's what they're in. Awesome. Hi, it's Kent with MrTruck.com. Another review, a product review for trucks. And this time it's Roadmaster Active Suspension. Now, I've heard about this for years and years and years. A lot of my friends have them. They all bragged about them. But I didn't understand how you could put a half a spring on half of a leaf and how that would work. But now I know <laughs> how it works against the shackle, the hinge of your leaf spring, and how that tightens it up and controls the leaf, was which is what. So it's kind of like an anti-sway bar. It does a lot of things to control the motion back there. And you don't want a whole lot of motion back there, especially with an empty truck. Where you're on a loaded truck, you want to control that. But an empty truck is really squirrely. You need a lot of control there. You just saw the Roadmaster controlling the factory leaf spring. And that's what it does. It controls it in during a wheel hop when the axle's trying to bounce and then go sideways on you. Controls the axle wrap, which is the, the drive shaft, universal joints and the pinion, all torquing too much, too much angle because of the leaf springs turning into like a big S. It actually bends the factory leaf springs going through axle wrap. And just shows you just how easy it is to install. It's very quick installation. I think I did it in 30 minutes. And then in here it shows, you know, where I installed it. You install it to the eye in the front. The part goes underneath the leaf springs. And this part cups back over by the shackle. Well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And we'll see you at the gas station.